Hey guys, this is Joshua from Grafazilla and I'm here today with Hanuk Rachamin. Hi guys. And today we're gonna to show you one of the best tools to improve your wrestling, your wrestling conditioning and wrestling technique, which is the Dopamino Band, also known as the Dopa Band. Let's go. Okay guys, we're gonna show you each move in the Dopa and how it relates to wrestling and how this is gonna start. Let's go. So here, we're mimicking the uh, snap down. And you see the hand of snapping it down, increasing the power and endurance as well. See how he's moving his leg back? Because on a snap, you have to move your leg back so he doesn't take the single. This is great for endurance. Next move. This is an amazing move to help you with stuff like arm drag, as well as hitting the, the underhook and controlling the tie like no tomorrow. As you see, he's moving full rotation, getting his arm all around, exactly what we can have in wrestling. Next one. This is called the windmill. Now this one, most dynamic movement you're gonna get. It's multiple, multiple muscles used. It's great for shooting stuff like the fireman carry, shooting for, um, for single legs, etc. This move is used by a lot of the Russian and Dagestani wrestlers, obsession wrestlers, Georgians, and it's how they get that dynamic movement going into their takedowns, as well as their defense sometimes, and scrambling too. Next. This is amazing, this is amazing. There is no name for this yet, we'll have it soon. But this is great for a lot of times, you'll see a lot of wrestlers where then they'll have a wrist grab and they'll throw it back in order to attack the single. This is very good for you to create that snapping power as well as endurance in order to attack faster and quicker. Let's go to the front now. This is the bread and butter of the dopamino movement. This move is going to help you get that underhook. So when someone's coming to get an underhook, a lot of the time, you, a lot of people only work on power, but they don't work on endurance and that type of snapping power they come in. You can increase your power by coming forward, you look tired, go back, but what happens, your opponent is going to notice that your arms are not getting tired. And when your arms aren't getting tired, it breaks their will, and you're going to get the underhook, and you're going to get a score point. This is an amazing, amazing way to increase your defense to the single. A lot of times, people are gonna come for a single leg or a double, and they're always gonna try to catch a single, and you have gotta post and move your, your hand back. This way is more of the Russian methodology. So they don't just post, they post and they push up again in order to, to stop it in the spot and come back to an attack. This is called the ski jumper. This is just fantastic for overall muscle endurance in terms of the shoulder, etc. A lot of times in wrestling, you've got to move up. You need to pull up the, the leg with a single. You need to move up an arm in order to attack. Sometimes you're in a, in a Russian time, you can move it up in the toy to get to the double. This is going to improve that. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, Hanok's favorite one of them all. Resistance for your shot. Okay? This is great to increase gradual resistance for your shot. As we know it, if you wrestle, you know a lot of times you practice this by actually someone hugging you when you shoot. You no need for that, you can do this alone. Attach it to a post or something, and all of a sudden you're starting to finish. And what's going to happen, your shots are going to become faster, your technique can be done quicker and crisper. And the best part of it, it's all to be done at home. This is the greatest wrestling tool there is. Dopamino. Thank you very much, Hanok, man. Thank you, man. Спасибо, друг. Take care. What a welcome.